I want to talk to you today about what I think is the number one secret. Everybody has a number one secret, but I've got all the best number one secrets. The number one secret to blowing up your real estate business and to blow it up and to put yourself in a position where you might be just scraping dimes and nickels just to get by. And then next thing you know, next thing you know, six months, three months down the line, you're making bank. You're making 20, 30, 40, 50 grand a month. And you're like, wow. I didn't know that this was possible. I didn't know this was this, this easy. If I would have known this was so good, having this kind of money, I would have had it a long time ago. That's what I'm talking about. So how does that happen? How does that happen? Well, it can happen a couple of different ways. One, it could happen through hard work and perseverance and long hours. Well, nobody likes that because that's not that sexy anyway. But there's some of that required. There is some of that required. Maybe not some, maybe there's a lot of that required, okay? So you have to be willing to make sacrifices, but that's not what this video is about because you heard that before. That's not a shortcut. That's not a shortcut to success. That's just the requirement for success. What is a shortcut to success? The shortcut to success, the fastest shortcut to success in your real estate business is, is here. It's right there. And Justin always says, Chico, you can't be doing any more of these mindset videos because then no, nobody, they don't get that much traction. Nobody wants to see them. Some people like to see them. Maybe you like to see them. Let me know if you like to see them. But I don't want to talk about real estate contracts. Like, you know, I've done already so many videos about real estate and about cash buyers and about all this other junk. And I'm like, there's so many other people doing YouTube videos about that. Like, you can go somewhere else for that. And I frankly am tired of talking about that. So that's why I'm talking to you about this. I'm talking to you about the things that I am interested in and the things that I think about and that hopefully you're interested in and maybe some other people are interested about it. But now I just waste your time telling you that. But here's the deal, the mindset, right? So the mindset is one of the key components. But then what is, what is the shortest path to success? What is the shortest path to getting your mindset um, right? To get it, if your mindset, here's the thing, your mindset, think about this way. Your mindset can take you from making a couple thousand bucks, a couple thousand bucks a month to making fifty thousand to a hundred thousand dollars a month just with your mindset. And I'm not talking about the law of attraction or anything like that. It's, but that that can happen that quickly. You obviously you need the skills. You need the skills. You need to know how, like, in other words, if you're in real estate wholesaling, you gotta, you gotta learn how to you know, fill out a contract and all that other stuff, right? But once you get down to basics, what is the key that makes a difference? And it's, it's, changing, it's changing the way you think about things. And I realize that that is very difficult to grab onto, but just wait for me here. It is changing the way you think about things. But now you say, well, how am I going to learn how to think about things? Because do I read a book? Do I go to a seminar? How do I think about things differently? Which, if you think about it, if you don't know how to think right, then I, if I tell you, it, like, how are you going to make a decision? If, you don't, if, you, if you're not good with your thinking or making decisions, and how are, are you going to find the right book to, uh, or, or the right course or the seminar to get into or the right system to buy to help you think better if you don't think better to begin with? So that means that you may not have the thinking necessary to even pick the right thing, right? Does that make sense? That's like a big riddle there. So the easiest way, the easiest way is for you to absorb another person's operating system. Think about that. The easiest way for you to change your mind is to absorb another person's operating system in the thing you want to do, right? In the thing you want to do. So like, for example, what I mean by that is let's say that I am, I don't know, let's say that, let's say that I am a serial killer. I'm not, but let's just say that I was, but I'm very meticulous. I like things really put in place, right? Because when I do my thing, I want everything to be nice and tidy because I don't want the police to catch me. So, you know, maybe you want to absorb my thinking, my operating system of being neat, but you don't want to operate uh, you don't want to absorb my operating system that whenever somebody ticks me off, I'm going to go chop them up and put them in my garage. That wouldn't be a good operating system to take. So you want to be able to absorb somebody's operating system. So, and then what you're going to do now 
is you're going to start to learn how they make decisions and start to learn how they view the world and then that now changes your perspective which then changes your actions which then changes the results that you're going to get so as an example this is an example for me recently i got involved with a um somebody that is helping me with uh, my facebook ads and getting better at my facebook ads now this is particularly for the product info business side but whatever i learn there i can translate into the real estate side right so it kind of trickles down um and so i'm on the phone with this guy and he's like and we're discussing campaigns to run and the campaigns you know have like an amount that you're going to spend per day and he's telling me like oh you know what just put this one at two thousand a day and put that one at a thousand a day and i'm like really and I'm, you know, I was running campaigns like 500, maybe 750, but not really at that, you know, I'm a little bit, I was a little bit timid on, on, on running campaigns at $1,000 a day. And this guy's, you know, he, he's like, he's building out these campaigns like, like he's just throwing money. Like he's in a casino and he has a bag full of money. And he's just throwing it there. Like, yeah, just give a, give Facebook two grand today. See what it does. And I'm like, what? But all of a sudden now, now, two weeks later, I'm, yeah, launching campaigns. And I'm like, oh, let's give Facebook 1500 two grand to see what it does today. Now, obviously, I'm not doing that haphazardly. Like, he's, I'm learning from him the, the, the different nuances and the different uh, methodologies and how he thinks and how he organizes things and everything else, right? So there's, there's knowledge behind there. I'm not gonna, I'm telling you to go and do that because then you're going to lose money. But I know what I'm doing enough to know, like, okay, um, uh, but now I'm absorbing his way of looking at the world. And this is the guy that's spending a million dollars a month. You know, he, he takes on clients as an agency only if you're spending 10 grand a day, right? So, like, it, it's a whole different way of thinking. It's a whole different way of viewing the world. I was talking to uh, somebody else. This was about a month ago. And, and, and they're telling me that they're spending $30,000 a day. And I'm like, oh, my God, $30,000 a day. All of a sudden, like the questions I was going to ask him, I was embarrassed to ask him. He was going to be like, what are you, what are you doing, Chico? You know, what is this $500 that you're spending here on Facebook today? I mean, is that just like in the last hour? Because I spent thirty grand today. All of a sudden, now you have a different way of looking at the world now that, that now gives you a better filter for making decisions, it gives you a different, a different operating system that then you're going to start to emulate. And so rather than you trying to figure, it out, figure that out on your own, then you're just going to absorb that person's operating system and then you make it your own. And obviously there's, you can tweak it, you can take things that you don't like, uh, et cetera, and I'm not going to get into that. But at the end of the day, that's the easiest path to success. The easiest path to success it's not the tactical side of success because the tactical side you can always get. The tactical side, you can always buy a course, spend a weekend, go through the course, you've got it. But it's really the mindset. And if the mindset is the thing that makes the difference, how can you shortcut the mindset? And the way you shortcut the mindset is not by you going out and trying to fix your own mindset because if you know you don't know how to do that. You're all messed up in the head. You don't, you have, you don't even have a clue in terms of like what kind of help you need because you're like clueless, all right? But you go and you find somebody and then you start absorbing their operating system and their view of the world and all of a sudden now that's going to shortcut that, su that process for you and it's going to help you become successful much faster and easier than you ever thought possible and that is my shortcuts to success and that is what I, that's my recommendation how do you who are you going to who, who are you going to go out and seek out that's my question to you maybe you can put that in the comments I'd love to hear that who do you think you want to take and look at and you want to say you want to take that person's operating system and I'm going to take like one of those big helmets that with all those wires, I'm going to put it on my head. I'm going to suck their stuff out, put it in my head. You know, uh, the, the, I'll leave you with this. If, if tomorrow morning, if tomorrow morning, uh, who's the guy that I was thinking about? The guy that owns Virgin Airlines. Now I, I, the name ev ev evades me. I think you know who it is. Come on. Who is it? Who is it? Uh, the guy who owns Virgin Airlines. Uh, Sorry, Richard Branson. If Sir Richard Branson woke up tomorrow in your bed, not next to you, not next to you, not that there's anything wrong with that, but inside of you, like there, like one of those movies where he comes inside of your body and you're like, oh my God, uh, you know, he's like, oh my God, I can't believe that I'm here. Look at this body. And if he came into your body and then now he had access to whatever you have, your brain, your opportunities and everything else, where would 
his life be in your body six months from now, a year from now? Would he still be stuck with your problems? Would he still be stuck with the money that you're making? Would he still be stuck with everything in your life? Or would that life that now he has jumped into, would that life now be significantly different than it was, than, than it is for you right now? Think about that. Because if that is true, if that is true, that, you're his, that you're, the trajectory of your life, if he was to jump into your life, all right, would dramatically change, then why can't you make that change? That is my question for you today. It's the same question I ask myself. So this is kind of like, you know, therapy for myself, me talking about my problems. And at the end, maybe I hope you figure out yours. And Justin says these mindset videos don't really uh, create followers, but I'm doing it for you. How about that? Check out the videos that come up here, somewhere here. Watch one of them because that tells YouTube that, hey, you like Chico stuff. So maybe you'll, they'll recommend me. How about that?